how I live for the moments Where I'm still in your presence Where all the noise dies down Lord, speak to me now You have all my attention I will linger and listen I can't miss a thing Cause Lord, I know my heart wants more of you my heart wants something new, so I surrender all. All I want is to live within your love, be undone by who you are. My desire is to know you deeper and love. For a touch of heaven oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh 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 You're the fire in the morning You're the cool in the evening The breath in my soul Life in my bones. There is no hesitation in your love and affection. It's the sweetest of all. So what I know my heart wants more of you. My heart wants something new. So I surrender all. Thank you, Chuck, for that great song and such a, a powerful one and one that I think we can all identify with and love the lines particularly where it says, you are the fire in the morning, you're the cool in the evening, the breath in my soul, you're the life in my bones. And many of the songs that we sing are about who Jesus is to us. And that got me wondering about who are we to him? Who are we to him? And, uh, and so that brought me to some of the, the words of the Apostle Paul. He talks about this in several places, but particularly in the third chapter of Colossians. He's writing to the Colossian church, and he says this in the first four verses of chapter three. He says, since you have been raised to new life with Christ, and he's talking to the Colossian church, but those of us who have been raised to new life in Christ as well, he's talking to us as well. So since you have been raised to new life with Christ, set your sights on the realities of heaven, where Christ sits in the place of honor at God's right hand. Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth, for you died to this life, and your real life is hidden with Christ and God. And when Christ, who is your life, is revealed to the whole world, you will share in his glory. And when it says you will share in his glory, what that is telling us is that we are co-heirs with Jesus, that we will inherit his glory along with him when he is revealed to the world. And that is unbelievable to think about today, that I, that you who follow him are heirs with him, that we will inherit everything that God has for Jesus along with him. And so I hope that excites you today. I hope that gets your day started 
just right. And that brings an extra spark to your step and that we will be reminded of that today and this week and in the days to come. And so let me pray for us that we would indeed not only be reminded of that, but live in that, that the truth that that is. So God, thank you so much uh, that we are heirs with Jesus. And if I'm honest, I don't understand that. I don't get that. Uh, it's hard to even imagine, but you tell us that we will share in his glory, that we are co-heirs with Jesus of all that you have for him. God, so may today that be a reminder to us every minute, whatever we're going through, God, remind us that we are co-heirs with Jesus today. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.